his stomach. Ah! I thought you were having a seizure. He's okay. He's fine. Okay, Harold, everything sorted? Yeah, I have the tapes, and I'll play them in for each of your shows. And we will return at the crackling crack of dawn, when the real Simon will slip in seamlessly at precisely 5.59 a.m. That's just groovy. You don't know how groovy! All right, the ultimate stag party, and Quentin will never know. Where are we going, Kyle? We are where going are we exactly where we should be going. Thank you, driver. If this is a brothel, you are officially my favourite person on earth. Because I've got something in my trousers the size of St Paul's Cathedral. No, it's not, is it? Don't worry, it's not. Simon. Where the Don't hell worry. are we? Stand here. Come on. Oh, yeah. What is going on? <laughs> Come on, big guy, out with it. What the hell the hell is going on? Obviously, it is a brothel. I'm a bit of an expert on these things. No, this, my friends, is Abbey Road. Somewhere in there, John, Paul, George, and Ringo are making music. And you know I love American rock and roll, but I have enough brains in my head to know that we're standing within 50 yards of four of the greatest geniuses of our time. And no matter how famous we get on rock radio, what we really are is fans. You know, fans with attitude, fans with large, attractive cocks, but, you know, fans nonetheless. And gentlemen, I consider it an honor if you join me on this historic night and a salute to the fabulous four, the glories of our age, the bringers of joy to our and future generations. Because there will always be poverty and pain and war and injustice in this world, but there will, thank the Lord, also always be the Beatles. Oh my God, someone's coming. Okay, we have precisely five hours and 30 minutes to get Horton hammered. What time is it? No. It's 5.58 precisely. No, no. We're so screwed. Turn on the radio. Listening to the Dawn Treader with me, Bob Silver, on two or three meters. Time to hand over the reins to Simple Simon once again. <laughs> oh, fuck! <laughs> hey, he's not Oh, you're there. not there. Oh, no. Hello! That's not me. I'm afraid to tell you that my man Simon is not quite feeling up to his game. <laughs> so I hope your game for a roller coaster ride that is Spike C. Who the, who the fuck is Spike Seattle? <laughs> and now, to kick us into a groove out of which we will never slide, this magnificent Marv, he says it takes two. That's just me. And you. Have a sweet, sweet day, and never forget, we live in a world where dreams can and usually do come true. <laughs> Morning, Harold. <laughs> Morning, that's uh, just keeping the seat warm, man. Hope I haven't let you down. You have not. In fact, You've made us proud. 
Si yo. I am the king. <laughs> king Harold. 